Hi, welcome to Accordion Fast Track 4. In 1, 2 and 3, we learnt about the accordion introduction to it, we learnt the scale of C, and the scale of F. Now today we're going to do the scale of G. The scale of G has one sharp in it. The first one of those three. C, D, E, F, F sharp. So we start the scale on G. Fingering is one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Remember we're going to play that, we're not going to play that F natural, we're going to play the F sharp. This is in the key for the scale of G. Fingering is one, two, three, thumb underneath. One, two, three, four, five. Same way down as we went up. Starting on G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, on the bass side, the G bass, there's your C with the dent in it, or the bit of glass, or the little diamond, whatever you've got in yours. One button above that is the G bass button. Okay. So how do we bring these two together? Well, it's a bit dodgy at first. It's something you get used to. So we'll start. Just press that G button. In. Then press the chord button, which is across underneath it. Remember we did this in Fast Track 3. Third finger, second finger. Third finger on the G, second finger on the chord G. So that's bass G, chord G. Something else I want to show you is to vary that rhythm like this. Third finger comes up. If you're in C, bring it up to G. C, bass, G, bass, C, bass, G, bass, C. C bass, C chord, G bass, C chord. That's four four timing, four beats to the bar. On three four, waltz or three beats to the bar, press the C chord twice. One, two, three, one, two, three. When you can do that, bring this third finger, remember because your thumb counts as finger one. Bring this first finger, this third finger, up to the G bass. So you're going one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, oh, one, two, three. And then go a bit faster. the first beat of each bar with the bellows. If you don't accent it, it sounds like this. A bit clockwork. So we accent the first beat of each one of every three. One, two, three, one, two, three. show you how to do that later. Anyway, here we go. <clears throat> so bringing these two together, let's start with something simple like um, the chord of C. Of C, E and G makes up the chord of C. I'm holding my fingers out straight so that you can see what I'm doing. C, E, G. Hold that down. 
just hold that down and press your bass C. <laughs> just to get the feel of it. Now hold the C chord down again and play your bass four beats to the bar. Okay, now let's do three four time. That's three beats to the bar. again. Big fiddler to get used to, but it will come. Now move with these two fingers to F and A. You can do it like that or you can do it like that. So you're playing the notes C, F and A. That gives you the chord of F. Remember we spoke about inverted chords being upside down. Well, this, that's the F chord, inverted. That's its first position, that's its second position, and that's its third position, the third inversion or the second inversion. The root, the root position would be here, F or F. When you play F in this position, you're in the first, or the root position, the first inversion, the second inversion. So you're in the second inversion, in brackets, upside down position. So we're playing C chord in the root position, that's the C note there in the root, because it starts from the C. And we're going to play the chord of F just by moving to the next two notes along. What fingers you use, it depends on what notes are going to be played after. You know, you can decide that for yourself when you get to play different tunes. So that's the C chord. Move those two fingers there, just these two, into F. And that's your F chord. Now you could do this if you wanted to. You could make F in the root position. Just bring the whole lot up. And C is the chord of F. The full chord is you play the F an octave higher as well. That's C, F. Now let's do it on the bass as well. We'll press the C bass together with the C chord. And we'll press the F bass, that's down one with the F chord by moving these two fingers up. Now we try now keep practice that when you can do that. Then we can put some rhythm to it. Let's try it in three four time. Your fingers going first. Okay, now we're ready to start. C. We'll do one bar of C. That's one, two, three. Then we'll move to F. One, two, three. Okay, practice that. Now the next move is to do the G. So we'll go C, F, now one chord in G. How do we move to G? Keep your fingers in the same position, don't let them move, and move the whole lot up one. And there you've got the chord of G. In its second inversion, again. That's the chord of G. Now there's the note of G. The chord of G is made up of A, of, sorry, G, B, and D. G, B, D. That's the chord of G. We're going to reverse it. That's in its root position. And it starts on the G. The, 
the B, the D, the G. That is in its first inversion. The D, the G and the B. That's its second inversion. So it's in its second inversion. So we play the chord of C. One, two, three, F. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's the G chord, remember. And it's second inversion starting on the D. And then we're going to go back to C in its second inverted position. The E, the G and the C. I'm trying to keep my fingers out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. E, G, C. Anything that helps you practice, do it. Move it to its first inversion, second inversion, back to its root, the first position. And if you could play the whole octave of C, one C to the next one up, our middle C on the accordion, as we've said, is here, to the next one. With E and G added. That's your full C chord. So let's try let's try that. So we go C F. Move the whole thing up a set without moving the spicing in between your fingers. And you get to G. Move the bass up from C to G. There we are. So let's try that. C, F, G, C. You can't move it up one on that for C. You have to rearrange the spacing in your fingers to, to uh, make the final C chord. But you could come back down to the C if you wanted to. but it's not it's very fiddly isn't it so just practice your bass so do it till your fingers can do it on their own ready here we go one two three down to f up to g that's over c up to g and back to c let's do the whole cycle c f g C, C, F, G, C. Let's do it slowly now. C, F, G, C. Now keep practicing that. And go the other way. Play around a bit. some different rhythms. Don't forget, practice to accent. The way you accent is to press the bass a bit, the bellows. That'll about do us for today. This has been Accordion Fast Track 4. Practice what you've just been told the C chord, the F chord, the G chord, back to the C chord. And practice your run, or not your run, your scale of G. It starts on G, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. You don't play the F natural, don't play the F natural on the scale of G, you play it as F sharp. Okay. Don't 
Don't be frightened to accent it with the bellows as well. Play around a bit, enjoy yourself. Practice. You could even do a bit of bellows shaking, you could try your bellows shake. Now that's where you get... Okay, see you next time on Fast Track 5. Bye for now.